Hi, welcome to Kingston Libraries Live. Um, today I'm going to be giving you an ebook review. I've decided to talk about a classic that I reread recently um, as part of a little book group that I'm a part of. Um, and it's by Jane Austen, but it's perhaps one of the books that is less appreciated. Um, but I think that's wrong because it's actually one of my favourite Austen books. Um, I think it's very underappreciated. Um, it was actually published after Austen's death um, and it was the last of her novels to be published um, and it is Persuasion. Um, Persuasion is different to Austen's other novels because the, ma the main um, female protagonist is actually 27 so in those days she's considered much older than some of Austen's other heroines. Um, she has already loved and lost um, a man, Captain Wentworth, so this is actually set years after they've had their romance, um, which didn't necessarily end well for them. Um, and then years later they meet again, and it's about that and what happens when they're reintroduced into each other's society, and how circumstances might have changed, um, but how feelings may not have. Um, I love Persuasion because I feel like as well it's quite um, many critics and many um, essayists have argued that it's almost biographical um, for Austen's own life because she, you know, throughout her life she had instances where she was almost engaged, fell in love but she never actually married, she died a spinster. Um, so yeah, so that's also why I love it. I also love it because it's Austen's last novel to be published and you can tell that she's more mature and her writing is more mature, especially like I just before this one I reread Northanger Abbey and that was like written when she was much younger, um, although it wasn't published straight away. But that one you can tell it's full of youthfulness and excitement um, and even her style of writing is just not as um, polished as it is in this. Um, yeah, so I'm recommending Persuasion because I feel like it's an underappreciated Austen novel. Everyone just automatically thinks of like Pride and Prejudice, which I also love, but this is definitely my second favourite. Um, yeah, so give it a read. It's available on the Libby app um, and probably on Borrowbox as well. It's obviously a very common classic, so normally readily available. Um, it's available as an ebook and an audiobook, so whichever one you prefer. Um, there are also a few film adaptations if you want to get introduced to it that way, um, but I would really recommend it. It's quite short. Um, this is only thick because it's got like an essay in the back of it. Um, but yeah, if you do give it a read, let us know in the comments. Um, yeah, and happy reading.